Hi everyone, I'm Amy Booth and welcome back to our Blue Rose Kennels YouTube channel sponsored by Canine Chronicle TV. This week we have a good one for you. What do we keep in our ringside bag? So stay tuned. Have you ever watched professional handlers go up to the ring with a bag or they have an assistant with a bag and have you ever wondered what do they have in that bag? Well today we're going to go over that with you so maybe you can create your own ringside bag if you'd like. Now a ringside bag comes in many shapes and forms. It could be a nice chest, it could be a bag, it could be a bucket, whatever is easiest for you. And you want to make sure that you don't forget it ringside because once it's gone, it's gone. So let's show you what we have in our simple ringside bag today. We're going to start with a water bottle. You want to keep a water bottle with you ringside in case your dog's feet need to be wet down so they don't slide or they need a quick drink of water. So always keep a water bottle in your ringside bag. an extra leash and collar. You want to make sure in case an accident happens and you break a collar or a lead, you have a spare one in your bag that you can easily switch to. Several times you don't expect it and you're not ready for it, but then you need it. So have a spare collar and lead handy in your ringside bag. Two types of treats in case your dog doesn't like one and might like the other one. These are two pre-packaged types of treats that uh, one of our clients gave us for one of their dogs. Personally, I like to make chicken or I might like to make liver fresh for the animals so they have a fresh bait. Um, because we haven't been to shows, I haven't prepared any bait yet, but it's definitely on my list of things to do. My recommendation is to always have two types because if a dog doesn't like one, they might like the other. What's next in our bag? A comb. You never know if you need a last minute touch up and you need your comb. So always have it in your ringside bag. Sometimes we'll put it in our armbands or we'll put it in our ponytails or we'll put it in our pockets. But sometimes it's just easier that it's not on you, that it's not gonna fall on the floor while you're trying to run or you bend over or anything like that. So keep your comb in your ringside bag. The next thing, as you could probably guess, is a brush. If you have your comb, you might need your brush. How about a slobber rag? Just in case a dog has an accident, has a slobber somewhere, you might want to wipe up their face or clean them up or clean up their feet, anything like that, keep a slobber rag handy in your ringside bag. Also, I don't have it in here because I don't have them in stock right now. I'm waiting for them to come in the mail, but poop bags. You for sure want to keep poop bags in your ringside bag. You start walking up to the ring and your dog goes to the bathroom, you're going to want to clean it up. So make sure you have poop bags in your ringside bag. Two last little items that I could recommend. Actually, there's three. Uh, one is a tin of mints. You're going to be in close proximity to the judges. I've always put a mint in, but just in case, have them in your bag if you forget. However, the next item kind of negates this. Keep extra masks handy. Keep them in little zip blocks. Keep an extra set of masks handy in case you need them, in case your mask gets wet and sweaty. You, you may need to replace it, and that kind of negates the need for mints, but uh, I still like them in there. The last item that I keep in my bag and I can't find it right now is my phone. I use my phone, sometimes it's connected to my um, watch and uh, if my assistants tell me somewhere I need to go, it gives me a message without uh, disturbing the rest of the people. Um, long time ago when I was an assistant, we used to use walkie talkies, but now the phone, the iWatch, it kind of helps you know where you're supposed to go next. So keep that in your ringside bag. Hope those ringside bag tips are useful and you enjoy them. Tell me what you keep in your ringside bag that I might not have thought of in the comments down below. And 
Thank you for joining us and we hope that you have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like this video, ring the bell so you're notified anytime we upload new content, and share this channel with anyone that you think might like it. Thank you and have a great day and enjoy going back to the dog shows. Be safe.